What's going on guys? It's Gendo here, and welcome to episode 31 of For Love the Game. And Queens Park will be taking on Aloha in the semi-finals of the promotion playoff. Aloha, of course, being from the Scottish Championship in ninth place, and us being in fourth place in League One, that's who we're going to be facing. The other semi-final will be Berwick versus Forfar. Now there hasn't been anything in the two weeks leading up to this match, so let's just kick right off and get this match underway. We're going to be at home to start this first leg. 1,800 people coming out to Hamden Park to see us. Aloha, of course, going to be in a 4-4-2. I thought they would have been in a 4-5-1. Most of the other Scottish teams have done it this season. But we're going to be staying in our 5-2-3. Chris Ketting's in net, McCrory, McNulty, and Gibson, the back three. Hogarth and Alexander, the wingbacks. Watson and Downey in the center of the park. And the three men up front, McKinnon, Davidson, and Waters. Let's kick off. Hope for a couple goals. Let's see what happens. All right, and Team Talks went fairly well. Let's kick off and get this first match underway. Queen's Park, of course, going to be in the black and white hoops. Aloha coming out strangely in all purple, which is rather weird. Almost 10 minutes on. We do have a free kick. Waters through to Davidson. You are on side. How are you not getting a goal? And McKinnon just shoots it wide of the post. We had a great chance there to get the first goal and ultimately did not come. 19 minutes now, we do have a ball falls to us. Once again, another good chance, and we're just shooting right into Aloha defenders. That was about another three-shot flurry that ultimately results in no goals. And now Aloha coming on a counter. So our defense is struggling to come back. We do get the ball. Downey throws it over the top, but ultimately nothing coming of that. Rennie, the Aloha keeper, bringing it all the way out, but... We are getting the majority of the possession. Majority of the highlights right now is 25 minutes on. We do have ball. Watson to Hovarth, who gets it to Waters, and Waters finally puts one home. And Queens Park are up 1-0 from that strike by Waters in the 26th minute. Aloha have only taken one shot in target, and that's probably because we are putting so much pressure on the Aloha back line that they don't know what to do with it. Time just ticking away in the first half, and there is the halftime whistle. We are up 1-0 at the half. We just need to kick off and keep going. Pleased with how everyone's playing, just go back out there. And grab one more goal. That would make me feel a little bit more comfortable going into the second leg. Three minutes on. There is a highlight for Aloha as they are coming down, and that was a really bad tackle by Downey. That was two-legged. He's probably going to get... If it's not a yellow, if it's not a red, it's a yellow. And it's a straight red for Jack Downey as we are now relegated to 10 men for the rest of this match. And quite honestly, whenever we get to this position and one of my players says it's sent off with a red card, uh, there's nothing good that can come of that. There's no real reason why you should do that. So what I'm going to do now is play like this. Can McNulty... Hold up. I'm going to have to switch people around. Very unfortunate. No, maybe not this. I'm going to have to come through with a different formation. And that would have to be... What, what do I use? It would probably have to be this. But then drop you back. Oh, man. And uh, Davidson's going to be subbed out for Martin McNiff. So you can play back there. And I know I have a, a midfielder somewhere that's just hanging around. Uh, John, Actually, John Watson will drop back here. McNiff, uh, damn it. I can't. McNulty's got a... Mc, where, why are you all the way up there, McNulty? Uh, you know, we're going to have to go with this. 5-2-2. <laughs> two, two. Just so we can keep our defensive structure... Oh man, this is this absolutely puts me in a lurch. So we're gonna have to go with this: five at the back, two mid, two up top, and ultimately hope. I'm probably not gonna get another goal, but there's chances here. We are still getting chances right at the hour mark. Ball comes in and it finds the head of Waters. That had to have been an accident. And Queens Park are up two nil, down to ten men. And I just have no words for that. And here we come again with another attack. Five minutes after, McNiff has the ball. 
It's like we do still have that five back line. It's just the wing backs were pushed all the way back to form five true defenders. And with two through the middle, ball coming to Waters. Oh, that could have been Waters' hat trick. We do get a corner out of it. Playing predominantly through the center, staying very tight, and countering the wide play of Alwa. Alexander coming forward, tackle off the ball. We do keep hold of it. McNiff is being forced back. Over the top and through to McKinnon. McKinnon turns around the goalkeeper, and that's two goals with 10 men on the pitch. Queens Park are absolutely making a mockery of Alwa right now as it is 3-0. 71 minutes gone. Probably going to make one more sub, but here we come again on another attack. McNiff to McKinnon, who finds Watson. Still playing through the middle, but now out wide to Hovarth, who comes way up front. Probably should not be all the way that far forward. But Alloa now on the counter. Defensive line doesn't know what to do. He's through. Good save by Kettings. Very good save by Kettings. But it's in Alloa corner. Whipped in and cleared away. Waters. Waters turns around one defender. Can he get by two? He does have an option in the box, but it's taken off of him. All right, going to make one sub. Oh, I don't have Danny Kelly on the bench. I really wanted to, to sub off Michael Alexander. But at that same token, I do have Andy McLean. He's going to come on for McCrory. And as far as the midfielders go... John Watson's going to come off for Paul Simpson. And those are all three subs with 14 minutes left to go. Still with 10 men, and still leading immensely. 3-0. Just in complete shock that we actually have this many, this amount of goals against a championship side. And two of those goals scored with only 10 men. Shot wise, 18 shots on target, or 18 shots total for us, 11 on target. Alwa with four and one. We've had majority possession as something we haven't seen all season. We don't normally keep possession all this much. But the ball comes through. Oh, yeah, it's lag as the changes come in. And Alwa finally get themselves on the score sheet. It's 3 1 with 13 minutes left to go. Free kick, Paul Simpson whipping it into the box. Uh, nothing comes of it. Oh, we do keep possession. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone to stay behind the ball and to tighten up. Don't want to concede any more going into the final leg. Throws it ahead to Waters. Waters finally gets his hat trick. Oh, he's offside. Okay, ref didn't see, didn't see that. But with time just winding down in this first leg it looks like we are going to go out to Alloa with a very solid very comfortable position with a 3-1 lead and there it is full time Queen's Park over Alloa with 10 men scoring two goals the final being 3-1 congratulations boys however I am not happy with Jack Downey getting sent off I'm 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 sorry you're demotivated but honestly you, you need to know better than that. All right, so the next match is only in four days' time, so we will catch you back for the second leg. And if we advance, then we're going to go directly into the finals, the two-legged finals. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, and here we come out for the second leg at Alloa. Almost a capacity, sta capacity crowd here at Indo Drill Stadium. 28,000 coming out to see us. And, of course, they're going to be in a 4-4-2. We're sticking with the 5-2-3 with a couple of changes as McLean has come on for... Who was that? I can't remember who I took off. Oh, yeah, McLean's coming on for Ross McCrory, and Danny Kelly's coming on for Michael Alexander, as well as Paul Simpson coming on for... It was another midfielder. I'm trying to find him. Uh, Connor Rennie mostly due to fitness issues. So let's kick off and let's seal the deal, try and find ourselves into this final, this promotion final. And we kick off. Alwa will be in there. Oh, already McKinnon off of a bad, bad tackle by the defense. <laughs> Within 10 seconds, I thought we were already going to score a goal, 
but unfortunately Alwa get their stuff together and clear the ball out. But Alwa, as I was saying, coming out in the black and gold, and we're coming out with the black and white hoops. Already 15 minutes come and gone, and Alwa on the attack. Ball over the top. Good save by Kettings. I thought for sure he was offside, but great save to prevent a goal, an early Alawa goal. Good tackle by Simpson here, 25 minutes on. The three strikers proving to still be problems for the Alawa defense. And right there, Ryan Waters offside again. He didn't look offside. Uh, hopefully Alawa don't turn it around in the other side. Hovarth needs to clear that. Thought for sure. Oh, Alawa could still counter here. Bad tackle, short angle shots, and Alawa do get a goal. Within a minute of our offside goal, Alawa turn it around and get themselves a goal. 40 minutes on. We do have an attacking chance. McKinnon throws it forward. It's cleared out. Still in the attacking third. Simpson to Davidson. And it's cleared over the top of the bar. We do get a corner out of it. Attacking-wise, everything's been relatively even for both teams. Six shots for either side. However, we've only had one on target. Alwa with three. And we go into halftime. Alwa lead on the day 1-0, but we are still up 3-2 on aggregate. I'm not happy with the performance at all out there. Defense, you need to do a lot better. Midfield, there's still more for, to come from you. And defensively, I'm not, I'm not liking the finishing. There's only one shot on target. Give all three of my strikers a GPS. Maybe they'll find the net that way. So we start this second 45, and all we need to do is hold on to a lead. Cannot concede any more, and we will advance. 54 minutes gone. We do have an attacking chance here. Donaldson, oh, ahead to Waters, but tipped away by the Alloa keeper. We get a corner out of it. Kelly whipping it in. Several people in the area, but whoever fired it, fired it well wide of the post. Running down our chance there. Alloa with an attacking chance here. Free kick on the edge of the box, 25 yards out. Still with attacking movement. Still a threat. Defense needs to cut it out. Why did you stop marking him? Why did you stop following him? Put in a couple tackles. Good tackle by Watson. Gets the ball forward to McKinnon. Davidson up the left. Uh, he's got options in the center. Needs to pick out a better pass, though. McKinnon tackles him off, though. Off the post, Waters is there for the rebound. Off of two defensive miscues by Alawa, Queens Park have knotted it up on the day. One all, 4-2 on aggregate. But we still have 30 minutes left to go in this match. Anything can happen. We just need to see this out, and we will see ourselves in the finals. 15 minutes left to go, and now I need to make some subs. Kenny Kane is going to be coming on for Paul Simpson. Down at the defensive end, we're going to bring on Martin McNiff for Danny McNulty, and that's going to be it for now, now that I think about it. Actually, we're going to bring on Connor Rennie for John Watson because I don't like seeing anybody with a yellow card this late and this fatigued. More than likely, they will get a second yellow and will leave me with 10 men, though 10 men worked out pretty well for me last time. 76 minutes gone, we get a corner. Ooh, good save by the, by the keeper, Martin, for Alawa. 13 minutes plus stoppage time left to go in this match. We just need to, to tighten up. Hold it down, boys. Uh, let's see how this resolves. And that's not tightening up. That's not holding it down. As with 13 minutes left to go, we give up another goal. Tighten up. And it's now 4-3 on aggregate. Getting really nervy here. Time is going away, though. Oh, jeez. I say that. And with two minutes left to go, plus stoppage time, Alo with an attacking chance. So the late doors magic. Oh, why did you keep it in bounds? He tackles him in bounds to keep the ball in. We need to just clear the ball. Just get it out. Get it out of the tackle box. Or out of the penalty box. Excuse me. Here we come on a counter. Ahead to Davidson. Davidson could end this. And no, the rebound falls to McKinnon. And McKinnon thoroughly has ended this tie. 
It's 2-2 on the day, 5-3 on aggregate, and that will see Queens Park advance to the promotion playoff finals where we are either going to take on Burke or Forfar. To be quite honest with you, I'd rather take on Forfar. They are admittedly the weaker of the two teams. If we have to take on Burke, I have a fear that we're not going to advance to the championship. But all around, good play. Let's see who are we going to take on in the finals. Forfar have beaten Burke 3-1 on the day, but have they taken the tie overall? They have. They have beaten Burke 5-2 on aggregate, and we beat uh, Alua 5-3. So we will be taking on Forfar in the promotion playoff finals. So that's exactly where we're going to be going to next. So don't go anywhere. We'll come right back with the first leg of the promotion final. All right, and here we go. Final leg, or not final leg, but the promotion playoff final. First leg, Queens Park taking on four far. We are at Hamden Park to start this off. 3,700 people coming out to see us and four far lining up in a 4-5-1 formation. We're sticking with our guns, 5-2-3. Couple of changes though, Darren O'Brien is coming on for Ryan Waters as he's feeling a little tired. I'd rather have not have taken him off, but he will be there available as a sub just in case. Elsewhere, I wanna say Michael Alexander did come back on for Danny Kelly, and this is gonna be the starting 11. So let's kick off and hope it's a good start. All right, and team talks are over. Time for action is now. Queens Park will be in the black and white hoops and four far the dark blue and black. Or maybe it's even light blue, but I don't know. I couldn't tell. So far, not a lot has happened in this match, but 17 minutes going four far with an attack. We need to tackle them off the ball and four far get themselves an early goal in the 17th minute. They're up one nil. That's not good for us. Forfar have had all the chances today so far, two and two. Maybe we can get a chance here, 25 minutes gone. Watson coming forth, throwing it to McKinnon. Ahead to Alexander, oh, what a what a block by the Forfar defender forcing the corner. More than likely could have been a goal for us. Trying to find some passing lanes through the center, but just nothing as we're forced back. Four far now with a corner just two minutes later. And it's going to be a corner on the other side. Four far have just been all over us. Very dominant on the day. And let me and let me switch things up. I'm going to be a little short. Play out of defense. Dun, 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 dun. And that should be that. Just make those two changes. 35 minutes gone now. Four far once again with another free kick. Another attacking chance. Throws the ball long over the top, and it's... Was it offside? No, I thought the ref was holding up his flag, but four far up 2-0 now in the first half, and we are just struggling. Absolutely struggling to do anything out there. Four far have our number, clearly. Even though this past season, it was a, it was a wash. We defeated them, they defeated us, and then two draws to round out the four matches. I... Everybody's just show me something different. I'm not happy with what you're doing defensively. What are you doing out there? In the midfield, come on. Strikers, get up there. Grab a goal. Grab a goal at this point in time. Make it so it's not a, a super uphill battle going into the second leg. Right from the kickoff, Hovarth. Hey, we get a corner out of it at the very start. Alexander whipping it in, but ultimately nothing coming from that. Forfar continuing to push forward. They did have the throne, but we do get the ball back. We need to hold on to it. Davidson ahead to O'Brien. Out to McKinnon, who was all alone, but now there's no option. Far post to Downey. Jack Downey from about 20 yards, no, top of the box, 18 yards. Gives one back for Queens Park in the 55th minute. And one of the four far players going out injured. I'm going to make a sub on now. McNiff is going to be coming on for McNulty since you are not only knackered, but haven't been playing very well at all. John Watson, you're also going to be coming out 
for Connor Rennie. And we're just going to make those two subs, and let's kick it off. I will possibly be bringing on Ryan Waters just to give the striker core a bit of a boost. Oh, 67 minutes now. Forfar once again on an attack. Defensively, we are just laying off. We need to crack into these boys. Wow. Wow. How the hell did he get that? How the hell did he find that? And I have everything on this guy, too. I'm telling all my defense to, to, to close him down and whatnot. He's just finding space. He's just finding tons of space. So Ryan Waters is going to come in for Darren O'Brien. There's absolutely nothing I can do to continue putting anything on this guy. Well, maybe I could do that, but... Time winding down. Nine minutes plus stoppage time left in this match. And Forfar make a stupid foul... Excuse me. A stupid foul in the box, and it will be a penalty for Queens Park. We have a chance to make it two... Stepping up is Jack Downey. He can have his second goal of the game, and he does. Jack Downey makes it two goals for Queens Park with eight minutes left plus stoppage time. Could still grab an equalizer with three minutes of added time. Can we knock this up going back to four far? It doesn't look like that will be the case. Four far are going to come away from this first leg victorious, three to two over Queens Park. Not good for us is uh, we have to overcome three goals uh, three away goals going into the second leg so obviously we need to score at least two if we want to advance if they get one then it's pretty much all bets are off so second leg we know what we must do we must come out with a big win so don't go anywhere we'll be right back for the final leg of this promotion final all right and here we go final match Four Far taking on Queens Park, and we'll be at Four Far Station Park holding 4,300 people today. Four Far coming out in the 451. I'm sticking with my guns. Five, two, three. And also, there is a change in who is minding the nets. I'm going with Big Greg Fleming, who has finally come back from injury. He is honestly the better of the two goalkeepers, so it's finally time to see if he can lead us to glory by not conceding, any more, not conceding any goals. Then in front of them, we have McLean, McNulty, and Gibson. Kelly and Hovarth are the two wingbacks. Downey and Watson sitting in the middle, and then the three strikers of Watson, not Watson, Waters, Davidson, and McKinnon. We need to get two goals if we are to advance. So let's, let's kick off and see what happens. All right, the final team talk of the season has concluded. Everyone seems rather up for this match. Let's hope their performance on the pitch will match their enthusiasm in the locker room. Right now, not a lot of action going on right now, but Forfar get themselves a free kick in the first 17 minutes. This is almost looking like a carbon copy of how the first match went. Same time, almost. Forfar finding great passing lanes, getting him out onto the wing. Ball whipped into the box. And once again, Forfar with Tony Dingwall this guy that I have everything stacked on him, and our players just cannot seem to mark him, cannot seem to do anything with him on the pitch. 20 minutes on now, we have ourselves a corner. Gets kicked out, but we do still have possession of the ball. McLean through, two down. He taken down, no foul. Rather harsh tackle, but now Forfar coming through. Wow, and our defense just lets Dingwall through. And what the hell is going on with this club? As with two goals down, it's nearly impossible for us to do anything now. And more than likely, that sees our season completely over. Four far once again. Yeah, this, this season is over. Absolutely disgraceful. Where we have a chance and the team just completely falls flat on its ass. Long ball forward. Can we do anything with it? No, it gets headed away by four far players. Well, I hate to say it, but this turned into a lost ass season. Because now we need to score four goals. Ryan Waters getting one back there, but we need to score we need to score three more just to pull anything out of this match. And there's no way we can do that. 
I really hate to say it, but this has just this whole thing just became a lost season. After coming in second place last season and losing in the semifinals, now coming in fourth place, fighting to get into fourth place, and then getting past the championship side, only to fall flat on our ass against four far. This has turned into a completely lost ass season. Um Davidson is going to be subbed out for John Black. And who's been playing bad? McLean has been playing badly. McCrory's going to come in for him. At this point, it's just all or nothing. Push everybody forward. And you can hope for at least one goal at this point, but there's no way we're getting three. There's absolutely no way we're getting three more. 60 minutes gone, and our players aren't doing anything. 65, 70, time is just flying by. And finally, there's a highlight, but it's not beneficial to us as Forfar are now coming forward, looking to add to their tally. And of course they do, because our defense was absolute garbage. Forfar, four, Queen's Park, one on the day. And like I said, season's over. Thanks, everybody. Pack it up. Go home. We're going to have to try again next year. I'm not even going to sub anybody out at this point. So let everyone else play it out. Two minutes of stoppage time has come and gone, and there it is, full time. Four far get themselves promoted into the Scottish Championship, and we left hanging our heads in utter disgrace. Completely unacceptable. If I could, I'd sack everybody, but I need to field a team, a competitive team for next year. Definitely going to be some changes in the locker room based off of this performance. As there are a couple players I noted that they're, they will not be coming back, especially on the defensive side. And I'm not going to discuss anything in the post-match conference, but Ross McCrory definitely showed that he is not a player that I want to keep around just based off of the, the two defensive performances in this final. But it's one final rundown just to, to show how everybody did this season. Well, not appearances-wise. Goal-wise, we did have three people in double digits. Steven Davidson leading all Queens Park players with 18 goals. Andy McKinnon with 16. Ryan Waters with 13. More often than not, those were the three strikers that I had up at the top. The three amigos bagging the most goals. Seems rightfully so. Jack Downey getting himself six, which was the next closest. As far as assists, Andy McKinnon basically feeding Steven Davidson. Callum Horvath with double digits as well with 10. Wouldn't have expected him. I probably would have expected one of the midfield players. But uh, the next closest would have been Steven Davidson with nine and Ryan Waters with eight. And overall, the best player was a tie. Two players with 7.14. And, of course, it would be the two people up front, Andy McKinnon and Steven Davidson. More, off, more likely, I will keep those two around if they don't cause a major ruckus before uh, the start of next season. But definitely, Ross McCrory there sitting dead last. Yeah, he is not going to be coming back. So I'm going to be looking more towards strengthening my defense in this coming offseason. Hopefully, next season, we can actually achieve promotion into the championship. If not... And it's another thing like this where we make it to the playoffs and we just lose. I'm having serious, considerable thoughts about whether I want to continue the series or not. But that is a discussion for another time. But for right now, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Comments, suggestions, questions, anything else regarding this series or any other series or just anything in general, please leave in the comment box below. As always, though, this is Gendo, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and peace out.